All right, so when I first started collecting Pokemon, I was like, yeah, base set, I know it, right? You have first edition, you have unlimited, and I thought it was smart because I also knew about Shadowless, and I thought that was it. That is until I talked to a collector friend of mine and I was showing him my sealed pack collection. I was like, yeah, I got unlimited. I have first edition now, which is cool. And I also have Shadowless. And he was like, what Shadowless packs do you have? And I was like, huh? Short crimp or long crimp. And speaking of long crimp, do you have the long stem unlimited packs? Uh, what about the air packs with the triangles? Try? Oh yeah, and also there's the short crimp huh? unlimited, the short and long crimp Shadowless. Don't forget about the fourth print. That was from the UK, the longer crimp too. Oh, yeah, and there's triangles. Okay, okay. I got more research to do. And today I'd love to share with you my updated collection since that conversation, which includes seven variations of base set Pokemon booster packs. Yeah, seven total variations. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the differences between each and make sure you stick around to the end because I have an extra pack that I gathered during my collection building that I wanna give away to one of you. So make sure you stick around to the end for that and make sure you subscribe because we give away a lot of stuff like this all the time. Let's get to it, here we go. Okay, so you're looking at a mountain of sealed packs that have collected over time here. We got some Japanese, for example, uh, Team Rocket Returns. We have some really nice packs from English, like Sky Ridge and Aquapolis, which are really hard to acquire. We've got them in hand. We're gonna send them to PSA very shortly here. We'll do another video about this later, because right now we're focused on this row right here, which is our base set variation. So I'll put these aside. We'll pull them out as we go, and I'll share with you some of the differences and little things to look at. So let's start with first edition here. This is the first edition set with Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur, and they all have the first edition stamp, of course. Another thing to pay attention to that's really interesting with these early, early packs is that it has like three little cards there. You can see where it says trading card game. That's kind of interesting, and you'll see that come about again in a couple other sets uh, and packs I'm about to share with you. But this is first edition. This is about twelve, thirteen thousand dollars worth of cards and packs in my hands right now. Now these are all light, which means they were weighed and they were not uh, heavy, which means they don't have a holographic in them, which are the perfect cards and packs to grade because uh, they're actually more expensive and more valuable sealed and graded. So we're gonna keep these sealed for now. We're not gonna open them. We are going to look at Unlimited now though. This is the most prevalent, the ones that you're gonna see sold mostly and any sort of box breaks that you might see online are usually gonna be base set Unlimited, which are less valuable, but still highly sought after. And again, make sure you stick around to the end because you can win one of these. Now pay attention here. You'll see the trading card game red space up here. That is different than the first edition because you'll see that is actually on the bottom here. Of course, no first edition stamp. And also it says 11 additional game cards. That's different than the first edition that says 11 tradable game cards. The other thing to know about this is the crimps. So the crimps are the sort of like teeth marks here that keep the cards sealed inside. You'll see that on the first edition, we have what's called long crimp. And on the unlimited, you have what's called short crimp. That comes up again in a few different variations as we move forward. But I just wanted to share that with you as we go along. Next, we have shadowless. Now, shadowless packs are really interesting. Now, the only difference really between the pack is the first edition stamp is not shown. So if I pull out the first edition one, you'll see that these are very, very similar. The only difference is that stamp right there. So shadowless first edition. Now, what's the difference between the cards inside? Well, the cards inside first edition are gonna have that first edition stamp. The cards inside the shadowless are gonna not have the first edition, but they still will be what's called shadowless, which means on the border on the right hand side of the actual artwork of the card, you're not gonna see a shadow. You start seeing shadows when you start to get into unlimited here. I will say what's really interesting is that you'll see that this is a short crimp. Short crimp shadowless, which again, you could tell with trading card game on the bottom, the little three cards, but not the first edition stamp. When it is a short crimp like this, that does not guarantee that it's actually shadowless cards inside. It may have unlimited cards with the shadow on it. So the only way to know would be to open a pack from the same box it was opened in and see if it's actually a shadowless card or a non-shadowless card. I can tell you that from the person I bought this from, these are actually shadowless cards. But be careful if you're buying these because you might not know and you might be sold a shadowless pack and open it up and see unlimited packs inside, even though it looks like this. The only way to guarantee whether or not you're gonna get a shadowless card is to get the next variation here, something that looks very similar, but the only difference here is the crimp. If the crimp is a long crimp, again, without the first edition, the short crimp, not guaranteed. It may have shadowless, but maybe not. The long crimp here, as you can see, does have shadowless. That is the only way to guarantee that your shadowless packs, in fact, do have shadowless cards. And we have that variation here. Again, very similar. In fact, this is actually more alike to the first edition. Crimps are the same. The stamp is the only thing missing. 
right? So that's the fourth variation here. Well, what's next? We're gonna go back to unlimited, but check out these packs here. These are called long stem packs. Now you'll notice that there's a little uh, hole here or a punch out where, guess what? This is where you would see packs hung in stores at like checkout lines and things like that. Uh, these ones thankfully are not punched through. So these are nice and pristine. These are always gonna be unlimited cards. The ones with a shadow on it, similar to these ones here. But pretty cool to have uh, when you grade these because they don't have cases that fit the long stems, you're gonna see it folded. And so I'm gonna be waiting to grade these kinds and the Japanese cards uh, because they still have to fold them in and put them in the wax slabs versus the new slabs that look much, much better for sure. But this is another unlimited version for you. Speaking of unlimited, we have another unlimited version, but this one's really interesting because if you'll pay attention here on the bottom, you'll see a triangle. So again, these are very similar to the unlimited packs with short crimp. The trading card game block is at the top underneath the logo, 11 additional game cards, except there's a triangle. What's that triangle there for? Well, it's because these were once printed and then had a first edition stamp printed on them as well. And we can verify this. You'll notice that right here, you'll see just the bottom side of a first edition stamp. They accidentally printed first edition stamps on this particular pack. And these are unlimited cards. So they were like, oh no, what should we do? Open them up and reprint them or just stick a triangle on them. So these are what's known as the triangle error packs. Very highly sought after, very expensive and very fun to have a, a neat little story of a mistake that is now a little bit more valuable. And uh, it's pretty cool to have. Now there is a variation that does not have the triangle. And this is one that I've never seen before. I only saw it open once, I think on uh, TCA Gaming with Rusty and they are unlimited cards inside, but that's the literally holy grail of sealed packs because they're very rare. I don't, need, I don't even know how many there are and you hardly see them ever, but that would be this pack essentially with a first edition stamp with no triangle. The ones that they forgot to put the triangle on, but it's still unlimited. If y'all could find me those, I'd be very, very grateful. That would round out this set very nicely, but I don't even know if I'll ever find those. I'll be on the hunt though. And then finally, the seventh and final variation that we have right now, you'll notice that this is an unlimited looking pack. It has the trading card game at the top. The artwork's a little bit lighter and a little bit bigger. In fact, it does say 11 additional game cards at the bottom, but it is long crimp. Now this is a variation called fourth print. This was actually printed in the UK. And if I were to be very careful here, I'm gonna open this up and show you. You'll also notice that in the back here, this has the Wizards of the Coast logo in a more rounded fashion from the unlimited version. You'll see it's more square. And even the first edition version, it's actually square here as well. But if I open this up and I take a peek under the hood here, you'll see there it says USA made in the UK. So this was actually printed in the UK. Okay, and that's what's unique about these. Now, I found that these are very, very difficult to grade. They're often, uh, I, I don't know what happened with the print run. They were just, I don't know, the quality is a little bit worse in terms of the foil and the packaging, but it's pretty neat to have all of these are gonna be headed to PSA very shortly here. Among many other things that we have here, we have a lot of variations of other things like the Australian print of Jungle. Uh, big shout out to Rusty at TCA Gaming for hooking me up with a set of those. Very, very rare, very, very highly sought after versus you can see here, look at the red in the Pokemon logo. That's how you know they came from Australia. So we have all the versions of Jungle as well. All right, let's get to the giveaway. How might you win this unlimited pack of base set Pokemon? This very pack right here, I'm gonna be giving it away. I'm not gonna be opening it. I'm gonna give it to you sealed so we can join forces as sealed collectors together. Anyway, how do you win this? Well, all you have to do is leave a comment below and tell me of all packs from all sets of Pokemon, which one pack would you love to open more than anything else? It could be this, it could be something else, the first edition of something. Just let me know below. I'm just curious to see what set of cards you would love to open if you had a magic wand and boom, you could have access to it right now. Leave that comment below and I'm gonna select somebody live July 10th on our 50,000 subscriber Poke Party happening right here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. You don't have to be live to win, but I will be selecting that person live right here on this channel in front of thousands of people while we give away not just this, but thousands of dollars worth of other things, including 30 packs of CP6. I have a link below where you can enter to win more entries to win that and several other prizes that other people in the community have offered to celebrate this big milestone here. And I look forward to seeing you at the live Poke Party and other videos here in the future. Appreciate you. Oh, and if you made it to the end here, 
the secret code that you can include to add an additional entry to the giveaway for you is Pokeref. Just put it in to the little form and you'll get an extra additional entry. Pokeref, P-O-K-E-R-E-V. Somebody who is a huge inspiration for me. Thanks Pokeref, I appreciate you and I appreciate you. Thanks for choosing Deep Pocket Monster. Peace out.